Hello me TPDs, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be reviewing my November favorites. Crazy that it is almost December. I wanted to share with you guys some of the products that I've been loving and using a whole lot throughout the month. Some of this includes makeup, body care, and of course books. We cannot forget the books. I haven't been, I feel like the last month or so I haven't been including as many books, but I am back in the reading game and I have a couple books that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you like monthly favorites and if you would like to keep seeing them, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So the first product I want to share is this CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I have re-fallen in love with this. It's such a wonderful BB cream that has a lot of coverage for a BB cream. It's wonderful if you have oily skin. It keeps you matte all day long, never looks heavy or cakey. And I just, it shocks me every time I wear this because I forget how nice it looks on my skin. And for me, I feel like it's just a go-to staple. Like if I were to recommend any foundation that's drugstore, affordable, and that's a BB cream, that's a little bit on the lighter side of things because not everyone loves a full face of makeup, then I would definitely recommend this guy. I've been using it a ton. I've been using this almost every day and I do, I truly love it. I have have the shade Fair. It's the lightest one that would fit my skin tone. I wish they had one lighter up from this, like in terms of a, a lighter shade, because CoverGirl just doesn't have the best shade range, but I can make fair work. I've also been loving the number seven Match Made Custom Blend Foundation Drops. If I'm not using this, I'm using this, or I'm using the third foundation that I'm talking about. Basically, I've been rotating through the three. This is wonderful, okay? This is so lightweight because it's just, they're just foundation drops. It's not thick in any way. It's a very thin, liquidy formula that packs so much punch when it comes to having a full coverage foundation. Like this makes my skin look so full coverage, but at the same time, it's so lightweight. I really, really love using these. I use this a lot when I was sick because I noticed that it didn't feel heavy on my skin like some of my other foundations were that were thicker and made for oily skin. Now this doesn't claim to be necessarily for oily skin or for a certain skin type, but this doesn't make me more oily. It's a great formula. I feel like it can work with so many different skin types because it's not overly drying. It's not overly hydrating. It's not matte. It's not, I would like, it's just a very natural finish that doesn't make you more oily or more dry throughout the day. So I've been using this a ton because you only need a couple little drops and then you're covered, like your entire face is covered with foundation. Next favorite is the Koki Full Cover Foundation. I'm wearing this on my skin today. <sighs> I love it so much. This is a wonderful full coverage foundation. If you're not necessarily into full coverage foundations like myself, I really like a medium coverage foundation, but if I were to pick a full coverage foundation, it would for sure be this one. This comes with a pump. It's a nice glass frosted bottle, so it looks really nice and high end, but it's very affordable. The formula is wonderful. It's super long wearing and it keeps me matte. So I love that about this foundation. It is a thicker formula than the first two that I talked about, but it's so good. Like it's, it's so good. So believe the hype when it comes to this foundation. It's so pretty and it looks very skin-like. So I do really love this foundation and I've been using it a lot this month. Next is the Rachel Zoe. I think I said this wrong in the video that I first did about it. Rachel Zoe or Rachel Zoe, I'm not sure, but it's the Lorac and Rachel Zoe or Zoe Hollywood Glamour Mini Palette. I know that I just did a review video on this, but I cannot stop using this. I use it like every day. It has shades for every day. It has shades for when you want really dramatic looks. It has neutral shades. It's just a wonderful little palette. I love that it's so travel friendly. I'm definitely going to be taking this to California later in the month. And just in the future, when I go traveling, this is gonna be for sure my go-to travel palette because it's so nice and tiny and it has every shade that I would want in a travel palette. So I've been really loving this palette. This is the highlight that I've been using for most of the month. This is from Becca. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone, because I'm getting back to being real pale for the winter time, I've been using this every day, basically. It's so nice and buttery. It's so pigmented and shimmery, but at the same time, you can make this look very blown out and not as pigmented on your skin. So I really love that. I noticed that I was using it a lot throughout the month, and I liked the way that it 
sat on my skin like that's what it looks like when it's blended out so you can either focus this on one section of your cheek and have it look very intense or kind of buff it and blend it all over the tops of your cheeks and have it look a little bit more airbrushed and kind of an all over glow. So I've been really loving this. It's the highlight of the month basically. This is the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. Can't stop using this. It's in the shade brown. I'm definitely gonna get more. I don't remember if this was in my last favorites or not, but I've just been using it like every day. I love how the brown makes my green eyes pop. I feel like it's a really nice neutral darker eyeliner that that's not black and super harsh. Then I have this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So you will see later in the month, I have another video coming with this guy, but basically this makes my skin look so nice. I would not say that it helps keep my skin looking matte, but it does help elongate the wear time of my makeup. Like it, it does work very well and very similarly to the All Nighter from Urban Decay, but I like the mister on this better. It is a like aerosol can, which at first I was like, ooh, that's kind of weird. I don't really have great experience with aerosol can products. I really love how fine the mist is. It's almost like you don't even feel it coming on your skin. You have to put it really up close to even feel it touch your skin because it's so thin. The spray is so thin and airy that it's hard to feel it actually hit your skin. I just really like it. I've been really enjoying using this as an alternative to the Urban Decay setting mists because it's just, it doesn't make my skin feel so tight. Like the Urban Decay ones are great and wonderful and I love them still. And those make my skin feel definitely tighter. This one makes it feel more refreshed and hydrated without being oily, if that makes sense. So I've been really loving this. This is the limited edition packaging for the holiday season, I think. Now, makeup's out of the way. I want to share a body care item that I've been loving and I wish that I bought more. I don't know, Bath and Body Works, I love them. I have such a love-hate relationship with them because they're so expensive when you don't have a coupon or when they're not running sales that like I never wanna buy things when they don't have a sale going on, but I also just wanna buy them because they're so good. So this is the Snowflakes and Cashmere Body Lotion. This smells like heaven. If you love really warm, yummy scents, you would love this. This has, it says the keynotes are Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. On the back it says chilly days and cozy fireside nights, a warm drink in hand and a favorite blanket pulled tight. That's like my life. So I've been using this like every single day. I want to buy more when they have another body care sale. It smells so yummy and inviting. It definitely smells like a warm, cozy night to me. So definitely need to get more. And I feel like the formula is not as liquidy as years past. Like this feels a little thicker of a body lotion, but it's not a body cream, which I really like. I really like using the body creams as hand moisturizers, not so much as body moisturizers. So yeah, definitely getting more of this. I'm watching the site to see if they have more body care sales because I'm absolutely gonna pick up more of this body lotion. It smells so wonderful. If they have a candle, I'm gonna get that candle too. Books, this is the Red Queen by Victoria A. Aviard, Avert, Aviard. I'm not sure how to say your last name, but this has been out for a long time and I've this is actually my second time reading it through. I read the first one and then halfway through the second one before three and four were released or written. So I just reread this one for the second time and I love this book. It's so wonderful. It's so wittily written like she just has a way of capturing her audience in the way that she writes that's very personable and easy to read been loving this i'm currently halfway through the second one which i have not fully read yet my plan is to read all four because i think there's only four but i needed to reread the first one before i jumped into three and four because i just didn't remember what happened but that is a book that i wanted to mention i'm currently also in the middle of another book called the nightingale by kristen hannah that's very good so far. Another series that I read, and I don't know if I mentioned it in my last favorites or not, I don't remember, but I, I just wanna mention the Caravel series. Cause I think in my last favorites video, I hadn't finished the last book yet. So in the Caravel series, there is first book is Caravel, second book is Legendary, and the third book is called Finale. And it is by the author Stephanie Garber. Okay, so I, 
was blown away by this series. I don't think I've read a series that I've been so into in like a while that's like this series. So I um, borrowed them from a friend, so I'm definitely going to be purchasing them so I can read them in the future. I already want to reread them. They're basically like magic in a book. It's a young adult series, but it's so well written and the storyline is so interesting. It's so different than other books that I've read before. I've heard it described as if Hunger Games met the night circus so if you've read either of those books very similar I've read the hunger games I have not read the night circus um, I plan to in the future but I just wanted to give a shout out to that series because it holds a special place in my heart it's so mystical and like wondrous I don't know it's just the book to me screams magic and I, I love getting caught up in the story of it so I thought it was really well written so there you go that's all of my favorites for the month let me know if you guys have any favorites down in the comments I'd love to share and talk about our favorites with each other. I love talking with you guys. I love getting to know you. And I just, I wanna hear about what you guys have been loving this month as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.